All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the Brother Tides of War, back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this lesson is going to be a quick one. It's just a, in the response, all right, to, uh, you know, this guy, uh, Captain Tazariak, you know, which Elder Apostle Gabar, he did a lesson earlier bringing this out, which, you know, which he saw was uh, Captain Tazariak getting cut by Saw Netta. By he getting cut by Saw Netta, man. All right, and he's supposed to be a defender of the gospel, you know, and this happens because guys are not honest and true in their own doctrine. You know, they're supposed to speak the truth. Okay, we we supposed to speak the truth. Matter of fact, uh, let me um come back to this last this scripture I want to bring out since this come in mind, I want to read it. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. See? So for us that have been called, we have been called into what? Mercy. And that's what we're seeking. We're seeking mercy of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, forgive, forgive us for our iniquities. Save us in a time of affliction. You know? So that's why it has to be, you have to be honest and true. It says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, so we don't get tired and go back into the world. Verse 2, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. All right? So... We don't renounce, it says, but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. And dishonesty is not being truthful with yourself, all right? After being corrected by men that come before you, men who works, speaks for itself of truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the apostles and elders, you know, rebuke, correct, reproved Captain Cesaria, Captain Cesaria over and over, all right? The men on down. Okay, by doing these epistles and shows in response to the false doctrine that's over there in ISUPK, you know, and it's like, as the scriptures say, they shall wax worse, you know, it's like a never ending of uh, dishonesty. And, and, you know, just personally, I believe Captain Cesariak knows the truth, but he's under that banner and really under that spirit of a, a lying spirit on him, you know, and that's the Lord. Because the Lord does control, all right, everything. He controls everything, okay? He the one that belongs to the issue of death, whether you die or live, all right? And if you would, if you would, if you to exist, okay, you are under the powers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, whether good or evil. So let's read this again, but now have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness. You got General Yahana, the head of ISUPK telling you to take, you know, the uh, to take the jabby jabbo, okay? Telling you that the mark of the beast is not the uh, microchip, when all you have to do is your own research, all right? Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully. And I believe them guys, they, you know, these grown men, man, grown men that have been in many debates, you know, I don't believe you just blind in ignorance. I believe, you know, and this is a personal opinion and it's nothing personal, you know, just by Scopio and seeing how over and over they just vomit, you know, is that these guys know the truth, but choose not to teach the truth because you have a lying spirit on you for one, by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And number two, you, 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 you received your constellation, you know, multiple wives and big old ceremonies and Passovers and all this money. You got you a nice position at the top, you know. But instead, you know, that doctrine is going to lead to your destruction. It says, but by manifestation of the truth, 
commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is watching us, man. He's watching us. Everything we do, whether we're on camera or off camera, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and the angels are watching us. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Verse 4, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. Verse 5, for we preach not ourselves, but HaMashiach Yahweh Shah the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Yahweh Shah's sake. For Yahweh, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. But we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us. So if our gospel be hid, you know, the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with 100% truth, which is being pushed through the four corners of the world. If this gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You know, the Lord have never lost con uh, control and power over his creatures. Everything that exists belongs to him. Okay? And it goes according to his will. Scriptures say man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? You can't get past that one. You know? So is a can a uh, did the Most High create a mo create a transformer? Yes, he has. He gave them over to a vow affection. Ain't no telling what they've done in their past life. And in this life, coming back, the Lord, you know, hey, the Lord give them over to a vow affection. Okay, whatever how the Lord want to do it. Either way, the Lord did it. Okay, he takes the blame. He takes the credit for everything that is done in the earth, whether good or bad. All right. He the one that created the wicked, which is Esau. He created the sons of men. He created all right, um, the Israelites to be his people. All right. The sons of the living power. Then you got the sons of men. Then you got the wicked. The Lord did this. He created all that. All right. So I'll just play a little bit of the video here and I grab one scripture and uh, Lord's will and I pray it's edifying to those of the whole four elect. He didn't make everybody a prophet, but he ordains everybody what they're going to be. Where's the proof? Job, the 33rd chapter. All right. Job, the 33rd chapter, beginning at the 14th verse. Where it clearly tells you he sealeth the instruction of man. Okay. And, and I think it's going to come out scratchy as far as me recording over this video. You know, brothers need to watch. If you haven't seen Elder Apostle Gabar's lesson here. When he uh, goes into it. Alright, so now, you know, I'll leave the link to Apostle Gabar's video, which you should have seen it already. If not, just click the link. But uh I want to go to the scripture that I've been meditating on. Well, not meditating, but just uh came to mind to sum up this thing with this this ISUPK, you know, because it's it's the Lord. Okay, the Lord doing, putting a lying spirit among them. Now, this is 1 Kings chapter 22 and 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw the Lord sitting on the throne and all the host of heaven, heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. So here it is. The Lord in the spirit world has the angels on the left. He has angels on his right. And this is a council he's having. It says, And Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up to fall? That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead, and one set on this manner, and another set on that manner. So you have the angels discussing, you know, saying their peace, you know, toward the Most High Yahweh, while he sits on his throne to persuade the Heavenly Father to allow them to go among Ahab to get him to fall. 
all right, basically to be put to death, okay? It says, and one said on this manner and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade Ahab. I will persuade him. So there was this spirit, okay, which came forth and it pacified Yahweh. All right. And let's read verse 22. And Yahweh said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now, therefore, behold, Yahweh have put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thou prophets. And Yahweh have spoken evil concerning thee. So here it is, Ahab and his prophets. The Lord sent the lying spirit to be among them, to speak lies. And that's being a true yes man, you know. And uh, I was thinking about this scripture when Elder Pascal Bar was doing his show, you know, on the matter between Captain Cesariac and uh, Sarnetta, all right, and how Captain Cesariac of ISUPK, they just constantly keep going off on the doctrine, you know. So it's like a lying spirit among them, you know. It's kind of like General Johannes Ahab and his and his his prophets that among him, all right, they have a lying spirit on them. John the Baptist, not a man of the Lord, all right. And so on. So it says, Now therefore, behold, Yahweh will put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thou prophets. And Yahweh have spoken evil concerning thee. So you see how the Lord have control over his creatures. He have control even over man, which men are considered creatures too. All right. I believe we were all uh, created in the fifth day, which the, I think it was the fifth thousandth year. Okay. So here's the Lord having control and power to persuade man to go according to the heavenly father's will. So, so really there is no uh, free will. All right. The scriptures talk about being predestinated. Okay. And how we all, you know, basically are predestinated. Well, the Lord's elect is predestinated. So that just, so that just lets you know what about the rest of the people? You have some that are predestinated for righteousness and you have some that's predestinated for wickedness. All right. So, you know, that's mainly the point. I wanted to bring that up. You know, it's nothing deep. Uh, just thought it was uh, something thoughtful to think upon. You know, it came to my mind through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai when uh, speaking about this matter here with Sardinetta and Captain Cesario, you know, ISUPK and not just them. But other camps that are teaching false doctrines, y'all have a lying spirit on y'all. There's an angel that keep y'all in y'all way, you know, so that you can keep down the path of being a liar, you know, being deceitful, not handling the word, you know, honestly, but being deceitful, you know. These guys are not, um, not uh, you know, ignorant, you know. It's not that they don't know. These guys know well, you know, you're, you're out there teaching, you've been teaching for years, you know, you mean to tell me you ain't going to understand and take reproof, whether you like it or not, and then go research? When you research, you're going to find it, okay? The truth is the truth. The lie is a lie. You know, one thing Elder Pascal Bar also say too, you know, like for Esau, all right, in order for him to lie, he must know the truth, you know, so... Hopefully, I hope this lesson was edifying. I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, I want to keep it short. Uh, Vaz Brothers took a watch the show with Elder Apostle Gabar. It's very edifying. All right. All the apostles and elders and brothers on down here in Great Millstone. Lessons are edifying. All right. So that you can learn. The word edify means to build. So if you're newly in the faith, you want to learn, watch Great Millstone videos. All right. If you want to be a part of a camp to be down. You think that's how you're going to be delivered? Then go join and be a part of these other camps. All right. You know, because they're surely teaching of the flesh. We're teaching the ways of salvation, which is through the spirit. You know, and, and it's, our, it's our job, which I read. Uh, I'll go back to it real quick. You know, Second uh, Corinthians 4 and 2. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully, 
but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. All right. So, you know, that's the point. Uh, another scripture come in mind, but uh, matter of fact, I get it. Get it. This is in the book of Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear my word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So it's our job, you know, as teachers, prophets. All right. When we teach, we're set up to do what? To be watchmen. OK, to 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 see what the Lord will say unto us. All right. When we're reproved and that's by studying these scriptures and learning how to filter the news, you know, through the scriptures, by the breakdowns to knowing what the prophecies are. You know, to knowing what our history is, to what our culture is, okay, our true culture, which is being a Hebrew Israelite, all right, by uh, teaching right, uh, right things, you know, keeping the law to the best of your ability, all right, and not doing for the flesh. So there's balance, all right. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear my word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou gavest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thou hand. All right, so we're teachers and watchmen to save your life. Now, we can't physically save our own lives, you know, but we do that in the acts of faith. Okay, giving our life as a, a living sacrifice to the Lord, you know, enduring hardness as a soldier. And we go out and teach this word so it can hopefully save the rest of the Lord's hopeful elect, save their life. So it says, when I say to the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou gavest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. So that means that we have to know right for wrong before we can even teach. And go out there and hit them highways and byways. We have to know right from wrong. So you got men that set up. Okay. That act like they can't see what's wrong. You know. It's kind of sort of a pride thing. You know. They don't want to give their just due. And, and uh, double honors to, to the real righteous men. Because they're set up. And another stead. You know. To teach a false doctrine. You know. They don't want to give their just due. Because they're not honest and true with themselves. They have a lying spirit on them, and that's the way of the Lord. You know, we all have our own lot. So it says, when, the wick, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou gavest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So here it is, that same wicked man is going to die. But guess what? The Lord is going to require his blood at thy hand, all right? So his blood is on you because you didn't warn them. You didn't tell them the truth. You didn't tell them that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. See, what happened, what's gonna happen is, is that when this thing gets campaigned, you know, in a, in a way that this jabby jabbo, okay, get campaigned and people taking it, people gonna take it out of ignorance. And it's not just out of ignorance, but because they reject the truth. But you as a prophet that was set up to teach as a watchman to warn, you didn't warn them. So guess what? Their blood is on you. All right. And hopefully with us, the Lord sees us that their blood is not on us because we have did the job. So verse 19, if yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou has delivered thy soul. So may Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai have mercy on us, you know, for doing what he said to do, okay? For doing the things that he delight in, not what we delight in, all right? But what he delight in. And at the end of the day, all right, we're all uh, uh, filthy, okay? We, all, we, we need a healer, okay? At the end of the day, you know, we went off. The Most High Yahweh Shai didn't go off, okay? We went off. So we need mercy, all right? 
It says, verse 20, again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou has not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Let me read that again. Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, and lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. It says, Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin, that the righteous sin not, and he doeth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned also. Thou hast delivered thou soul. Verse 22. And the hand of Yahweh was there upon me. And he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain. And I will there talk with thee. All right. So that's the point. So Lord willing, I pray this lesson is edifying to those of the whole four elect. You know, these are the examples the Lord has given us. Take heed and warning. I myself, I speak for myself first. Okay. Take warning and know right for wrong, you know, see what the Lord is showing us, you know, and, and, and go from there. All right. Because really, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is narrowing things down. Everything is getting narrowed down. All right. It's either the truth or it's wickedness. There's no in between. There's no I don't know. You're going to have to make a choice. All right. Really, you don't have a choice. Really. But hey. You're either going to be left or you're going to be right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.